Everything I do right now comes from my upbringing back home. You know, just my resilience and, you know, a lot of times people say, oh, life is hard, but they don't know how hard life truly is until they've lived in another country besides America. I think the idea of restoring Africa's image within the global community is something that's absolutely needed because when you watch contemporary media, there's so much um, that's focused on the negativity, on the social program, uh, problems in Africa. And I think not enough is done to celebrate Africa's beauty and that of her people. And so I think that Face to Face Africa is really gonna take the media scene by storm with what they're trying to do. Well, I think it's important up upon all of us Africans across the diaspora to just make sure that we represent for our respective countries well and re represent for the continent well. So whether that means doing an amazing job, a job at your job day to day, or whether that means you know participating in events like this, just making sure you give back in some way. So that's always been important to me. I'll continue to do that. I think that the youth are fascinating because they're so young, they're so energetic, they're so hungry, and they have way more opportunities than people that yeah, before. Raise them. Yeah. So yeah. they can really go get it. And technology is such now where there are really no limits. You can do whatever from wherever. So I think that having more young Africans being raised in the Western world, in the West, if they've really embraced their culture, they can help you know really elevate it and take it to the next level. You know, we're proud of you, Collins. We're proud of Isaac and Sandra and Rita and the whole Face to Face Africa team. You know, I've, I've seen them from you know, really close to the start. Uh, when they came into BronxNet and they talked to us about what they wanted to do, uh, I, I saw the vision and I see it sort of manifest here at uh, 41 Broad Street with the Face uh, List Awards and, I, and these terrific people like Engo, who's a part of BronxNet's team, are raising awareness about health and pathways to fitness and all the great honorees that are here today. We are so proud of you and so proud of the whole Face to Face Africa team. You guys, Waanding, stay Bronx strong. Well, basically what I've been doing is to sponsor some kids to go to school and building up libraries in Africa. Because I think that literacy is very important and um, the way of freedom is the freedom of mind, is to, to have access to education. So my commitment uh, to my continent is to help, you know, others to have the same opportunities that I had. Let's go back to the cross. Hey, hey, I'm up, God, you are too much. Yeah.